Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we are back with the next part of Love Island. In the last one, things were shaken, stirred, whatever you want to say a bit, because two new boys entered Love Island. Noah, not Noah, who am I talking about? Lucas and Henrik. Lucas and Henrik. I think it was Lucas and Henrik. I might be tripping, but I don't know. But I think it's Lucas and Henrik. One of them we were feeling, the other one... I'm just not feeling Henrik. He's out for me. But anyway, we're going to see what happens because the pot is now stirred. We have more options, even though I think we're going to stay faithful to our boy Bobby. But we're going to see, you know, we're going to see what the other girls are doing right now. So, you know, drama's going to happen. So give it a big thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you haven't already. And let's start the drama. So that's why I think my hands are so good, basically. What? <laughs> good symmetry either side of the middle finger, immaculate cuticles, and no conspicuous scars despite how much time I spent around hot ovens. I should become a hand model. Bobby, you should just, you're just so sweet. Henrik should become a hand model. Huh? Why? Does he have nice hands too? I don't know. I haven't seen them, but he's just kind of perfect in general. You know what? I'm glad there is someone out there for Henrik. I really am. Priya, you need to go for him. I'd go for him over Ibrahim any day. Oh, what about you, thought Tella? What do you, who would you choose, Henrik or Bobby? <gasps> She's dropping the bomb right there. Would I go for Henrik over Bobby? Uh, I'm not really into the new boys. Like, I mean, I'm not really into them either. Not really about either of them, to be honest. All the more for me. Hey, there are other guys in the villa too, you know. Aw, are there like who? Bobby is silent for a moment. Where did the two new guys get to? Oh, I love how Bobby is so sweet. He even cares about the old, like, you know, the other guys. Yeah, they seem to have vanished off somewhere. Intriguing. Guys, I got a text. Oh, right on time. What does it say? Islanders, new boys Lucas and Henrik have each chosen three girls to take on dates. The first girls chosen are... Hope's phone beeps. <gasps> Hope! Oh my gosh, it's me. I'm going for a drink with Lucas. And then so does yours. Datella, you're going on a date with Henrik? Yes, let's go get ready. Henrik, you head up to the dressing room. I didn't even try to go for Henrik in the last one. I don't want to go for Henrik. Let's go into our... <laughs> our very tired... I thought I bought a second dress. Maybe I was... I... Did I? I did this one. This was cute. Okay, so we're going on our first date with Henrik. Henrik jumps up to greet you as you arrive at the little table laid out for the date. It's just in the distance you can make out Hope and Lucas chatting at another table. Hey, thanks so much for coming. I'm surprised he picked us, though. Like, we literally got points with Lucas last chapter. Well, you look amazing. I've been really looking forward to getting to meet you one-on-one. -on -one. Oh, dear. Wow, you're enthusiastic. You should bring it down a notch, Henrik. It's all part of my game plan. I'm going to be really over the top and flirty with everyone. Like, what if I did this? Boy, you better get away from us. He doesn't over the top wink. Then you know I wasn't messing around, right? That's how you flirt. It's... No, is, is there something in your eye? Like, just a vision of a beautiful woman. Hey, look at her face. She's like, oh, that's proper flirting right there, you have to admit. Us two new boys, we've got to bring it. Okay, well, he laughs and settles down. I mean, you bring it all you want, boo, but not to us. Please, no. But seriously, though, it's weird, right? Us coming in like this. And because we both sort of know all about you guys already, do you get me? Like, I know your name is Tatella and you're a health student and on the first day you coupled up with Gary and all this. Wow, what an old time. It's weird, like, being sat here with you because you're already a celebrity to me. Okay, Henrik's saying I'm already a celebrity to him. Try to look past it, babe. I, don't I know it? <laughs> just, you know, just do that. But I feel like a celebrity. I try to look, just try to look past it. You know, it's fine. Yeah, for sure. I mean, I'll be a celebrity too in a couple of days. No big deal. Okay, he is just, what do people even normally talk about on dates? They ask each other questions and stuff. Get to know each other better. Yeah, right. Let's do that. Ask me some stuff. What do you want to know? Okay, I what I want to know. Okay, so we can say what your favorite food is, what you think about the other islanders, or what you're hoping to get out of coming here. Let's see, let's see what that one does. Ooh, that's a big one. Yeah, we're going for the deep questions, Henrik. I think mostly I just want to have a laugh and see what happens, if I'm honest. And maybe what happens is a really intense, meaningful relationship. I mean, that would be great. I really want to go on some kind of deep personal journey with another human being. But whatever happens, happens, I reckon. 
maybe I just get a great tan, that'd still be worth it. Well, you know, that's that's wonderful to fall back on. What else do you want to know? I don't really care, to be quite honest. I mean, what do you think of the other islanders? Wait, there are other islanders? Ever since I saw you, I thought you were the only woman in the world. That stuff doesn't work on me. Is that more flirting? Oh, yeah, you know, it's working, like, deep down. But the other islanders... I was worried Gary was going to be kind of prickly, but now I've met him, I think I'll get him on side. Bobby and Ibrahim both look like the kind of guys I get on super well with. What about the girls? I think Priya is cool. Like, she's exactly the kind of person you want to spend all summer hanging out with. And Lottie's got this whole thing going on where she's really mean and tough, but it's actually just because she's got love for her friends. <laughs> I respect that. I don't know if I think that's what I want in a partner, but I think it's great. You glance at Lucas and Hope. They're sitting back in their chairs and Hope has her arms folded. I guess at the end of the day, I'm kind of a homebody. It's like, yeah, I love to run. I love to go on parties. I love to dance. But the best thing of all is to get home afterwards. You know, log fire, cashmere blanket, cup of cocoa. Okay, that part I'm down for. Henrik's ideal day ends in front of a log fire. Like, surely that's that sounds absolutely dreamy, I guess. But I love all the wood cabin stuff still on the windows, hill, hiking. Okay, wait, hiking boots? Nobody around for miles. Okay, I don't know if I want until dawn to happen, but... Oh, I don't live in a wood cabin. I don't live in a city. But that doesn't mean I live in the wilderness. Oh, well, that's a bit of a disappointment. Who <laughs> she hit him with that disappointing? Henry sits back in his chair and grins a toothy grin. You glance over at Lucas and hope they're talking with their heads closed together like they don't want anyone to overhear them. So I guess I want to know, like, what do you do? Okay, not like what's your job or whatever. I mean, I want to know what you like to do, what's a typical evening for you. Okay, so we are chilling at home on a normal evening. I'm just going what I normally do, which is just chill at home. Okay, didn't let me put... There we go. Nice. Oh, dear, we got points. <laughs> do you like to read? I mean, I, I, I prefer, oh, I prefer games. I prefer games. But like, you know what? I, I actually love reading too, y'all, as you can see by my channel where I read a lot. Hey, that's awesome. I know I don't exactly look like the type, but I'm actually super into all that stuff. Games these days are so good. Ugh, video games, my passion. I know people think it's all just football and zombies, but there's actually so much interesting stuff out there if you look for it. Yes, there is. I always have a couple of indie card games in my bag and I'm off on an expedition too. Playing a weird little card game on the side of a mountain after a day's trekking is one of life's greatest pleasures. Oh, and now I really want to ask you what games you're into at the moment. But I think we're basically out of time, drats. <laughs> he gets up from behind his chair. Let's go. Sure. <laughs> sure. I hope you had fun. I certainly did. Okay, like, I'll give Henrik. You get up and start to walk back towards the villa. Now that I've seen his personality a little bit, I am, you know, he's better to me. He seems very sweet. I like him. I don't know if he's for us at least for me and my character, but he seems nice. As you arrive back at the villa, Bobby comes jogging up to you. There's our man. Hey, Thotella. Bobby's looking cheerful. Like, uh, do you know who else is dating him? Lucas and Henrik? I don't really care. Do, did I miss anything? No, I just let a chat about the new boys and who is their type and blah, blah, blah. I'm working on something else, though. What? Pranks. Okay, I'm ready for it. Think about it. Two of the boys are out of the villa. The other are all restless and in the gym. Half the girls are getting ready for dates and the other half are already off on their dates. It's perfect. Aren't you even a little bit interested in like how the date went or something like that? Not right now. Time is of the essence. Come on. Okay, I sure fine. Thought to get more hype like this is perfect. I love a good prank. Bobby leads you into the dressing room, which is deserted. So what's the prank? All right, it's not the greatest, but here's my idea. I'm going to take all of Rocco's clothes and all of Henrik's clothes and mix them up. That way, when they get changed later, they'll end up wearing each other's clothes. Okay, Bobby's pranks. Let's do it. Okay, glad I got your help. I mean, it's not my greatest prank, but it should work, right? Yeah, I'm sure it'll work just fine. Okay, what do you need me for anyway? Just then you hear footsteps coming from the th Oh, no! Has anyone seen my flip-flops? <gasps> There's a time thought to keep him distracted. I'm going in. Bobby flings open Rocco's cupboard and starts bundling his clothes out onto the floor. Okay, we got this right. I'll distract Rocco. Okay, so we gotta do this. We gotta help our man. Oh, wait. Hey, thought to Hey, have you seen my flip flops? <laughs> Rocco, hey. I think I saw your flip flops down by the pool. Oh, really nice. Thanks, Atella. No problem, Rocco. Bye bye. He wanders outside towards the pool. A few moments later, you hear a sound like a bird coming from upstairs. Okay, it's the- Hey, Thotella, I'm all done. Come up here. Okay, you head back upstairs. We better get points for this, because this is fun. Ta-da! The room looks exactly as it did before. Now we play the waiting game. 
just in your phone beeps. Lucas has invited you on his final date of the day. No, a second date. Wait, you got another date with one of these new guys? Yep, looks like it. Wow, go you. Aw, uh, do I want to do it? Wait, I don't want to go. Wait, sure, let's go. Wait, do I want to do it? Like, do you want to do the date? I don't want to go. I'm not feeling it. I've already had one date today. I don't need another one. Okay, perfect. So are you going to go? No, I'm not really feeling it. You serious? You should go. No, Bobby, we're trying to be faithful to you. Bobby, we're coupled up. You shouldn't be encouraging me to go on dates with other boys. Well, just going on a date with the bloke doesn't mean you're going to immediately fall deeply in love and forget about me, right? Bobby is so sweet. You should go enjoy yourself. But I really don't want to. Aw, you're sweet. Uh, I've had enough dates. Fair enough. Anyway, I'm done here. Catch you in a bit, Thotella. Okay, wh why do we get no points with him? I thought we did so much. As you head out onto the lawn, you catch sight of Hope and Lottie sitting on beanbags. Hope smiles and waves. Hey, babes, how was the date? Tell me everything. We're comparing notes. Do you guys know who else was on dates? Yeah, we've been working it out. Henrik took Thotella, Priya, and me. And Lucas dated Marisol, Priya, and Hope. Okay, looks like Priya is the order of the day. Just at that moment, Priya and Marisol get back from their dates. Hey, girls. Great, we're all here. Let's talk dates. Well, I'm all about this Henrik. He's a bit of me, no doubt. I'm not really into this whole wilderness man thing he's got going on, but I have to admit, I enjoy the date a lot more than I thought I was going to. I will agree with Lottie on that one. I don't think I was going to enjoy it, but it's fine. Like, it's fine. What do you think about him, Thotella? Okay, um, he's just, Henrik is not the guy for me, to be quite honest. He's clearly got a lot of energy and a lot of enthusiasm. I'm not about that. I was like, babe, take it down a level. We weren't actually like that. So what about Lucas? He's sweet, not my type, though, overall. Yeah, Lucas is all right, I guess. Our date was fine. I got a little bit bored. That's not what it looked like to me. Oh, oh my gosh, she's calling it out. Hope was with Lucas while I was with Henrik, and it looked like she was having a great time. Shall I call her out? You know what, though? We are going to be a better person. Let's just let her be right now. I It might be better to keep that piece of information to myself for now. Plus, we can use it later on if Hope tries it with us. I didn't really get a great vibe off him, to be honest. Maybe just because I was his third date of the day and he was tired. Um, babe, if the sight of you isn't enough to give someone energy, then there's something wrong with him. Aw, thanks, babe. Poor Marisol is just not finding the one for her here. I guess the real question is, are there any of them that you'd go with over Bobby? Nope. No, neither of them. No, no, no. Well, that's the same thing you were saying this morning. I guess Bobby has nothing to worry about. No, he doesn't. Like, we got Bobby. Just that moment, Lucas and Henrik walk back into the villa. All right, ladies. What do we miss? Not talking about us, I hope. Well, we were, but the girls look at each other for a moment and then burst out laughing. Coming up next on Love Island, it's party time as the Islanders show new boys Lucas and Henrik a good time villa style. Don't miss it. Okay, so that was the end of that part of Love Island. So we went on a little date with Henrik. You know, it was cute. It was fine. It was whatever. Um, he's a sweetheart. He really is. I, I enjoy him. I, he's just not for me. He's not for, I, he's not for my character. He might be for your character and that's wonderful. He seems great, but just not for us. As for the other one, we found out Hope was a little into, uh, Mr. Lucas over there and she's trying to play it off as if she didn't enjoy him. I guess our character kind of was like, they didn't have a good time and we found down once we kind of just had a normal time with him, but whatever. But anyway, so we gotta see what happens. We are very faithful to our man Bobby, even though I'm a little salty. <laughs> we got no points with him, but whatever. Like, we'll just drag later but anyway guys i really really hope you all enjoyed it thank you so much for watching as always and i can't wait to see you all in the next one thank you so much again everyone bye I'm so